uh, is out on bail tonight after the shooting death of an unarmed man he was arresting. Robert Bates says he mistook his handgun for a taser. If he's convicted, second degree manslaughter is punishable by up to four years in prison. One of the tri-state top sheriffs is weighing in on this. Sheriff Richard Jones called into the Dr. Drew show on HLN tonight. He says something like this is not unprecedented and described how it could happen. The tasers, sometimes they're bright yellow. There's a reason for that. And most of the time, not all the time, they're on the opposite side of your weapon. There's a, 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 a scenario called slip and capture. And what happens is when you're in a heated confrontation, it doesn't matter if you're 25 years old, you reach for your weapon and you may be reaching for your taser, but you get your handgun. Bates has worked as a reserve sheriff's deputy since 2008. The 73-year-old is a former insurance company CEO and frequent financial contributor to the Tulsa Sheriff's Office. He received 300 hours of training and 1,100 hours of community policing when he volunteered for the reserve deputy position.